I, I was scared. I was really scared. Because when I look back, I didn't just see smoke. I saw flames, like instantly. Assistant swim coach Luke Robbins relives Friday night when his team's bus caught fire on the way to a meet. But he says students deserve all the credit for the escape. If there were no adults on the bus, I believe that all those children would have gotten off the bus. I really, I really believe that. Uh, I, was, I was blown away. But even after the escape, the danger had not passed. And we need to get these kids out of harm's way. I mean, okay, we got off the bus, great. It's not over. We're still on the top of a mountain in the middle of nowhere. As the sun went down, Robbins led the students away from the burning wreck. A single file started just hiking up the hill. And I said, don't stop, just keep, I'll tell you when to stop, just keep going, don't look back, don't look back, just keep going. Right now, investigators are examining the charred remains of the bus and the pre-trip inspection reports for any sign the fuel injector was already broken before the crash. During the pre-trip, um, the, the driver would have spotted if it was faulty. Instead, Jim Foley, the director of transportation for Albemarle Schools, says the piece broke as they were driving with no advance warning. He says the bus was also in perfect shape after its full 105 point inspection on January 2nd. I think we're pretty well prepared. We, we do evacuation drills uh, at least two times a year. Um, and I think they paid off. As for Coach Robbins and the swim team. To see students back at school was really overwhelming for me because at the end of the day, all we really care about is the safety of the students.